preacher today? Uh, I guess. Uh, call this meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order. We're going to go ahead and ask Bo to do the prayer and pledge for us. Heavenly Father, we with us today is uh, as you can give us another day and please forgive us of our many sins and please give us, uh, please give the members of the court uh, blessings of the future of this county. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, the main reason for this meeting, too many days between the, the court meetings to do, do it every so many months, we'll have to have this. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion by Jason, second to Sam. No late list or nothing, right? No late list, okay. Uh, any discussion or questions? Discussion or questions? Bang none. Roll call. Kim? Yes. Morphew? Oh, yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, next, we have this ordinance, the Budget Amendment 2019-4. And uh, we're going to... Uh, we've already had the first reading, this second reading. So, to have motion to for, approve the second... Motion to Sam. Let me re refresh my memory, Judge, on that. what the ordinance is. So we're amending against um, a governor's discretionary rule, aid money, $348,602. And also, the school I'll second. second by either Larry, you caught first, man. You got no, you Larry and his other brother, Larry. Hey, if, uh, any, any discussion on that? Being none, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Uh, the uh, ordinance is passed, the second reading. So ordinance 2019-4 is, is an ordinance. Um, hmm. I didn't know about this insurance thing. That's just approving the health insurance that takes effect to July 1. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, I, I'd seen that. I didn't realize it was going to prove it. Uh, any the, um, big changes the from... Increased a little bit, a half a percent, but we did not pass anything on... Um, to, to the employees. The free plan, yeah. Uh, we're still able thus far to absorb uh, that increase. Did, well, they, did the next plans up where some of them buy the additional, did they go up? Just a little bit. It was like two or three dollars. Oh, okay. Because it was less than one percent of our insurance rates went up. The free plan, did it stay the same? Yes. I'd be also, glad to get, I'm just going to say I'd be glad to get that Medicare for all. That really helped. <laughs> hmm. Well, we Is also that? have had three insurance workshops. <laughs> Move to Canada if you want to. And there's a, uh, several new things that Anthem has offered free uh, that I think the employees will really be able to take advantage of. Um, you can now call a doctor over the phone for some general uh, medical diagnosis, and there's no copay or anything. They can even write your prescription and send it to your pharmacy. Are y'all going to have like a little workshop for all the different departments explaining that? Right, yeah. Are you already, okay. Three. Um, yes, I went to one of them. Three departments or just three old meetings? Three meetings for anybody to have. Uh, I was teasing. Yeah. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That passed. And this is to enter in the record. I I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Okay. And on that meeting, when you can call in, you talk to them, they give you some, they won't call in a prescription for you on that stuff. Yes, so that'll save a lot. Because you know, you have so many people going, especially if you got young kids and they're going or well, something like that. If, if you were on the Anthem insurance. Yeah. You use it for your spouse or your dependents. You making your young kids call it for you? No, I don't know. I wouldn't take them for anything, but I'm going to watch you take them for everything. Which one is so, it? The Anthem insurance. Yeah. Okay. Their nose is running. We go to the doctor. 
I thought maybe you'd make an call health insurance for you. Uh, so, yeah. Th this yeah. is April the 25th. I forgot to put that in the opening statement, so be sure to you can tag that on the recorder when you start to play it. Um, I now want to recognize the sheriff. He's here. He's got some business for you. Uh, Judge, what I have is uh, we uh, bid our cars out for the money you guys gave us. Uh, I only got one bid back from John Jones Automotive. Uh, that bid was for 35921 on the SUV. And Joe, you'll be glad to hear that that was a Dodge product. And you're, the one, you're, you're the one telling me they were better. I mean, I... <laughs> okay. So anyway... Keep, uh, Tracy, we keep buying these Dodges. We're going to have to buy a record. <laughs> well, about that too, Larry. <laughs> I say 30 uh, so far, we've had pretty good luck out of the Dodge record. Durango's, and they're high enough off, high enough up off the ground that we can go into driveways and, and go off road or something. Uh, I, I did search the state contract bid. It was about thirty-two hundred dollars less, but the options that we had, uh, like a rear view camera and that parking assist, where it'll kind of stop the vehicle if you back into something and put the brakes on, and I think that'll help us in some different areas. Uh, those options were thirty-eight hundred dollars that we that we had on that car, so we felt like it was a good deal. And I just need to get approval from you to uh, get in to sign that check for us to get those. How many are you getting? Two. Uh, it was a total of seventy-one thousand eight hundred forty-two dollars. How much money did you? We just got eighty thousand to fully equip them. We're going to be quite a bit short, but uh, uh, we'll, I guess, deal with that when we. That's get not there. the same people you had been going through, though, is yeah, it? Yeah, it was. The oh, same. I thought you was going through. Uh, is that the one that'll give you a police car? Or do you have? Yes. Just, okay. Yes, sir. Do you, do you have enough in your budget to finish it, or? Well, no, but hopefully at the end of the year, maybe we. Are you going to sell any? Just cross our fingers. See Them what, chargers ought to bring them out. Uh, it'll take seven thousand dollars a piece to equip them with lights and cage and siren. Uh, the yeah. old Crown Victorias that were fading out, that equipment won't fit over into the new ones. Are you are you selling the Crown Vicks? Yeah, we've got uh, actually I'm I'm low on cars and we're trying to. I just put a twenty eight hundred dollar front end under one of those older Dodges. Got a hundred and. 59,000 miles, I think. So we're just trying to keep those going long enough to replace it with some of these. The Dodge Chargers? Yeah. Was that a That was a 12 mile, 2012. That was the one you bought used, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. It was. And our, it was. Our it 15s wasn't we bought new are at 100,000 or better right now miles on them already. Okay. But we keep them maintained and they're in good shape. So okay. we hope it'll last us another 50, 100,000, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need a motion? I yes. mean motion. Uh, go ahead and, and uh, tell us what the motion needs to be. To authorize the, accept the bid or authorize the payment? Oh, okay. No. Uh, oh. Yes. I make a motion we accept the bid and give Ann permission to write the check. So the two vehicles are 70000 and then you have eighty one. you said? Motion. 71, uh, 842, and then we're, we're approved 80,000. And it's going to take 7,000 apiece to... Uh, so you're going to be about 6,000 short. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. The motion was by Joe Barnes, second was by Larry Morphew. Okay. Any further questions? Yeah. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, okay, this meeting's adjourned, but... Thank you all for that. Okay. Now it's a forum for any citizens in the Beaver Dam District 2 uh, will have any concerns about their district. She, not any concerns, but she lives in the 2nd District. Well, that's why, that's yeah. why I said I, I, mm -hmm. she could say something she won't say. Um, I just wanted to come and introduce myself to you guys. I'm Emily Heron. Um, I've taken over as the chairman of the airport board back in January. So I just wanted to come say hi and apologize. I to a meeting so far, but work and my kid have been busy, so um, like I said, just wanted to introduce myself. We have a lot of exciting things going on at the airport. Yeah. Uh, we are in the middle of um, getting a flight school going out there, so I 
know yeah. Judge Johnson is very excited about that. Yeah. Um, as are we, as is Jason. So, uh, um, so we're we're really excited to get that going. Um, we've got a course that's going to be starting at the high school next year for our high school students in aviation. So we're hoping to really kind of get the word out that there's a lot of jobs out there in the aviation industry. Um, we want our kids to know that that's a really really great. Um, avenue for them to look into, whether it's an aviation mechanic or a pilot or in dispatch. There's lots and lots of areas um, where they can make a really great living in the field of aviation. So yes. that's kind of something we really want to make sure that we get stirred up. Yeah. Um, obviously, we want everybody to know the facilities uh, that we have out at the airport, and we are right now in the middle of a reconstruction of our main ramp project. So Scotty's has been out there uh, the past two weeks working on that. They're ahead of schedule, which is makes me happy. Um, so everything's going good with that so far. Um, May the 11th, I'll give you guys a copy of this. We are going to be having a day, it's called a Young Eagles event, and it's a EAA event, the Experimental Aircraft Association. Um, what it is is kids between the ages of 8 and 17 can come out and get a free airplane ride. And it's all by local area pilots, and the Hancock County EAA chapter is sponsoring it. And then um, we're going to probably have some sponsorships from local businesses as well to help reimburse for the pool, uh, the fuel and things like that. So, um, But we're hoping to have a good turnout and have a lot of kids out to introduce them to aviation and kind of get their feet wet. You know, a lot of kids don't have an opportunity to get an airplane ride whenever they want to, so that's why this event got started up to help kids, you know, get to see it might be something they really enjoy or really love. Uh, something I loved as a kid and enjoy now, so um, my kid loves it, so... Anyways, hopefully uh, it's going to be a great turnout and a good event, so I just want to make sure you guys were aware of that. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns about the airport, please let me know, and um, I'm this, excited uh, to be on board. This flight school, y'all, what's that going to cost? Do y'all have that in your budget? Well, it's as of right now, it's not necessarily costing us anything. Basically, um, what that's going to be is the person, and his name is J.R. Boyles, He's been at Hancock County Airport. Um, his flight school is called the Eagle Flight Academy. So he is um, he's just going to be moving his flight school from there to here. There's going to we haven't got all the logistics and everything worked out as far as figuring out what you know if there's going to be a lease or what his roles and responsibilities and things like that are going to be. Um, but typically, that's not necessarily something that's going to cost us money. It's actually going to help bring in some revenue for us. Because he'll sell fuel and things like that. Yeah. So he'll help. Probably with the fuel sales um, and things like that, help doing a lot of those different things. And then, of course, he'll run his flight school. He has airplanes that he owns as a part of his business. So it's not necessarily something we've got to go out and buy airplanes or buy, you know, things like that. But it's not going to cost the county nothing. No. No, not to have the flight school here, no. The, the FBO is actually furnishing this part of the space that he had for these planes to go in. Right. Part of what? Uh, yes, our current FBO, David Woosley, yeah, he's helping... Right now, because we don't have any tea hanger. Right now, we have all of our tea hangers rented out, and I have about nine people on a waiting list right now. Um, so hopefully, that's going to be a project we're going to get done in the next few years too. Is getting more tea hangers. Um, but so hopefully, as we get a tea hanger opened up, then he'll have some some other space for his airplanes. But yeah, our current FBO is allowing him to keep his airplanes in the the big main hangar right now. So good deal. All right, all right thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Larry, are we too old to fly? I don't know. You're too old to get a free airplane ride for this. Oh, I know for the ride. I'll take you up any time. I just want to go up with Larry sometime and let him fly me around. Oh, my God. And he, make me appreciate life. You know what I mean? She's, yes, ma'am. She flies her own plane. Yeah. Oh, who does? Emily does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She said she'd take you up. Don't take the parachute when you take the parachute. Yeah. Listen. But I don't want to get on women drivers, but is plane drivers the same or? Yeah, yeah. I just can't. Yeah, you probably got enough hours to to do something with having some. I said you've logged enough hours to go a long way towards being a commercial pilot. Well, I've, I've got a few more to go for sure before that. You have to have 1,500 hours to, to fly professionally for like airlines and things like that. So I'm, I'm not close to that yet. But. Where they put them signs up there at? I just, to guide me around if I was up there. You know what I mean? Gotta, that build read class. I understand where a compass comes in. Are you sure you still want to take them up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the back to take out something.
<laughs> so he so he can't fiddle with it. You don't if you don't have one of them bombers that opens up the bottom yeah. and the way you go, you know. Hey hey, thank you everybody. I really uh, wanna thank the Beaver Dam Elementary for having us today. Uh, and uh, when it